Hello, hello, everybody. How are you all doing? A good morning. Is it still morning? It's 11.42. We're supposed to go out of town, but of course, there's some issues at work. Not my work, my husband's work. So I wanted to open this package with you guys. I figured I might as well do it with my friends here. It is my new pen that I talked about yesterday during Tea Talk Thursday. So here it is. So this was um, supposed to have come around Christmas time and it wasn't their fault. I ended up getting something else and I didn't like it. And so I had returned it, exchanged it. And I had to pay a little bit more money because it is a sailor. This is my first sailor pen. I am trying to open it, you guys, so bear with me. Um, it is a sailor pen. And when I was in Canada, I wanted to purchase one when I was with the Canadian girls, my buddies. And they just didn't have the color I wanted. And so I waited for what, almost like over a year, really, because it wasn't even this last time we went. It was the one before that. I'm just gonna tear it up. So, wow. They packed this nicely. I get a 10% off my next purchase, which I don't think I'm gonna be purchasing anything soon since this is new to me and Probably um, I need to go on a pen budget. <laughs> Did you guys see Maria's new pen? It is a rose gold Twisby. Oh my goodness, it's so beautiful. Oh, I'm going to New York next week. I might have to go to the pen hospital. They have vintage pens there, so I might check that out. So we'll see. Anyway, so this is a sailor. So excited but I better hurry up before the husband gets here, comes back into the car. <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys. Look at that pen. Is that beautiful or what? Wow. Oh, it's, I did not realize this was the kind of red that it is. There's a pen that I really like. It's a dual fold. And I've been wanting one of those for the longest time, but they're um, pretty old and a lot of them are um, damaged. And so I've never been able to find one. And plus they're super expensive. I mean, the picture there that you guys are seeing is not even quite as beautiful. I love this color. Oh, I'm so glad I got this one. I wasn't sure I wanted to get a red because I have maroon ones already. Wow. That is gorgeous. Wait, how do you... It's not a twist, I don't think. Yeah. Sweet. Look at that. I love how that red looks with a gold accent. Yeah, it's really beautiful. I wasn't sure I wanted a red one because I, like I said, I have some um, maroon ones or like dark wine color red and did not realize this was the kind of red because I just never saw it in person. So I'm so glad that I got this. Yay. And it feels good. Let me see. Yeah, it feels like it would be really nice. So it's a slim. Oh, okay. I got the Pro Gear Slim. And the uh, color is called Fire. Was there a choice of nibs? Which one did you get? Yeah, there is. There's quite a choice of nibs. And I wasn't sure which one I wanted. So I ended up getting a fine because like you can, for me, you can never go wrong with fine. And a lot of times uh, the Japanese fountain pens are slightly thinner. I don't know the right word for a nib. 
But anyway, what a medium would be for us, let's say, would probably be like a fine in a lot of that Japanese pens. But I ended up getting a fine. And we'll see how it writes. Oh, it does have... Ooh, yay! So it comes with a converter. Um, I believe it's proprietary to Sailor pens. So if you get a converter, it came with it, it looks like. And you have to get the specific ones. But it also comes with a cartridge. I'm going to put a cartridge in, you guys. Yay, I'm so glad because I'm out of going out of town, as some of you might know, to have our birthday celebration this weekend. And I'm already supposed to be out of town. <laughs> anyway, I was hoping that I knew that it came in, but I was hoping that it had already an ink so that I didn't, because I didn't want to go back home and ink it. And I picked it up from the studio. So it's kind of reddish orangish. Now, I don't know if it's going to write right away. But let me grab my journal. See if it starts to write. No promises, though, because I just now inked it. Yeah, it's not writing yet. It's going to take a few minutes. I hope I did that right. Look at that color. It's kind of like reddish, orangish, amberish. I don't know how to explain it, but it's beautiful. And I love the size. seems just right if you post it I was just looking up today to see when the next pen show is I know there's one in February out here we'll see if that starts to get scratched up because of the lid it might scratch it after a time but to me it's a tool so it's not one of those things that I'm going to try to preserve I'm just gonna use it the way I want to use it <laughs> my husband is out there by the dock. <laughs> Asking me if it was okay to come come now. I guess he's done. He knew I was doing a live. Anyway, I will show you guys how it writes later. Oh, it's already writing. Here, let me turn this around. Sweet. <laughs> there you go. Did you guys see that? It writes pretty nicely. I like it. It's a little, it feels a little tiny bit scratchy, but I have to really test it to see, you know, I'm not holding it properly or anything. And plus, some people say that the Tomo River is a little bit scratchy. So I'm going to try it in my Loistrum, which I'm bringing with me. I have my planner, so I will try it in that too. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go ahead and go, you guys. Um, hopefully, my husband will get here really soon so we could leave town. But um, I'll take you guys along if you're interested. My little weekend here. I'll talk to you guys later. And as usual, keep on documenting life as it happens. Bye-bye.